Our liege has gone to war again, and he's just fighting some sort of cult. Probably helping an ally. And hold the feast. We're not gonna need money. Not feasting. Going to stop and try killing that woman. And we will ponder our religious studies more deeply, giving us some boosts to our abilities, stats, and everything. So he'll become less of a threat as the threat goes down. Let us put title revocation allowed. So if he ever thinks of raising his troops against us, we can revoke his title afterward. At least that way something good will come of it. Now, shattering our titles not so bad. We would just lose two counties, really. It's not ideal, because uh, a lot of power comes from controlling counties directly. Oh no, he's actually going in a de jure war against this rebellion. So he's trying to get this peace here. That's good stuff. He's doing what we did with playing up here. There's a whole lot of empires in our neck of the woods. Well, I set it to generate all these empires, so that's okay. Look, there are horse lords here in Arabia. That's really cool. But there's a new rebellion, a peasant revolt. I wonder, did we lose the Dijur claim? No, luckily we don't lose, because we lost the war for it. Well played, boy. Well ployed. Money can beat ideology and idealism. Definitely can. We will eventually get this. Part of what is owed us, what is ours. Do we have to get it before it legally becomes the jour part of this thing down there in the south? I should unpause, I, I believe. We are no longer just, which is very bad because I really like the great just. Badlex education. You go for this, definitely. And you go for this. Quick, so you will be an easy sell. What are you voting for, though? I don't care. We'll vote in his favor. Yeah. More declaration. Our son is doing well in the dungeons, it, uh, it appears. So he had to pull out of his war that he was winning right now to take care of this rebellion. A little bit of a shame because he's retaking the siege. You just have to defeat them and then you win. You don't have to retake a siege. But what do I know? I am just a duchess. 
Can't he die, please? Maybe our kids are going to start plotting for his death. Is that chance? We'll s auto stop no more. Just in case someone wants to do something. And ransom this man, let us. And he has grown up now. Let's kill this kid, because if he dies, there's a chance our liege is going to give us what is de jour ours if this stuff breaks apart. Should have started killing him when he was a kid still. Let's send our spy master to work on it as well. And let us go descend too, so people like him less, making them more susceptible to joining our murder plot. Both of our youngest boys are really getting into the martial side of things, which is good. Very nice to see. He'll go the diplomatic route. Hong's local monastery wants something. Let us give them gold. So we get more piety. And thus we have become sick. Send a gift to this man so he joins us. Plot. Our plot. Let's see what sickness we get. Potentially cancer. Um, yeah, and there it is. Answer. Let's see what our court physician can do. Yeah, he's just giving us successful treatment. It's not going to go away. You can live a while with it. Not a death sentence. But given our age... Let's ransom our son. Oh no, he's not wanting it anymore. This guy is still floundering between wars, between rebellions, but this time he's going to directly attack the enemy, giving it an option to win. And we can upgrade a little bit. We need to upgrade the castle walls to potentially upgrade the castle town, which we will do because it also gives us a little bit of... What? I sacrificed one of my oldest friends today because of my greediness. One of my friend's enemies offered me a bribe I couldn't resist. We gain a whole gold to betray our son? That is what greedy does to you. 
Sell out your own son for one gold. Albina. You're not going to be one that is going to be remembered fondly for her achievements. You have done pretty much nothing. You have expanded the realm a little. But all your titles were given to you, beside that one thing. So yeah, you should definitely read more on the grand story. Find something to help writing the arrow of your ways. Okay, we have been feeling drained lately. So we could become severely injured or we just die or vomit. Let's ask our physician for a draught. And we are instead of dying just vomiting a little bit. Which we have overcome. Stuff. We just need to survive until our book is finished which is going to be the greatest thing we leave behind in terms of this world. He's not pushing for the peace despite on being on 100%. There we go. Now he just needs to go south again and defeat this army once more. Take his prize down here. That's what he needs to do. I mean to get this kid killed. People are slowly becoming available because of our interference and meddling. Okay, we gain Ancient Wisdom. Gaining a little bit of learning. He's yet to marry. Ooh, we can upgrade something over here, very good. We could go for military organization. Giving us a little bit more morale. Or something I think actually this early on is going to be a little bit more important is upgrading our skirmish stuff for melee techniques. What do we have for the most part? Heavy infantry. So we're going to invest in increasing our heavy and light infantry by upgrading their morale and defense could also go for attack but i feel like morale and defense are a little bit more important well massimo needs a direction Right, since we're this old and cancerous and everything, we're going to get our son back. We don't have to ransom him, or we don't have to ransom ourselves once all this is done. And we can give him now a job, in which he can go potentially die. We'll set him as our spy master. Now we did that before, that didn't work out, he was just captured. We want him dead though. How do we get you dead, boy? Uh, how do we get first we'll teach him a virtue and then we send him off to become a mercenary captain this costs us a little bit money But at least this way... We kind of ensure... That he develops a skill or two. Lacking funds. Good stuff. The whole family is... Poor as dirt. increase the size of your band it's all good
or what they are being educated in. We could kill all his kids if we so wanted to. Let's hope he kind of shapes up a little bit. Being a mercenary commander. Our castle walls were built. And we raid with ships, I don't think. Ask him for realm peace. You really don't need to. And for some reason, he's losing down there hard all of a sudden. Why? How did you lose that one battle? Uh, what do you want us to do? Donate to charity. I'm not giving away more money. But you have a very little as it is. We declare war of subjugation on this personage over there. Kingdom of Bale and eight hundred and forty-six. How many do we have? Nine hundred and nine. Still have our ally. Yes. How many troops you got? Four hundred and thirty-five. How much money you got? Enough to raise one mercenary troop. Potentially. Potentially even our own. Oh, they're on contract already. There is another 350 he could raise. Can't afford them long. You get these. But they're in a contract already. Can't afford these long. Could get these, but not afford in the long. How does subjugation even work in this case? I mean, we would be a little bit spread around here, but. Sure, why not? Let's try it. Let's try something to solidify our place in this world. One last push for glory. you in already and of course he joins us good stuff a little bit scared there for a second when it said zero troops is what he's sending a bit too little a few there for my taste so this is jungle area Oh, he's a center leader by now. That's good. Can we find better? Sadly, the guy with the 31 is not available to join anywhere. Oh, defensive flanker and a siege guy. We get him definitely. All right, he's attacking us. 
And I think the defensive flanker and siege guy just joined us. So we'll replace this man with this man. And put him on the defensive flank. While we put our center leader in the center. And the offensive flank and organizer stays over there. Unless we get a higher ranking guy in here. This might be the higher ranking guy I was talking about. Um, minor title 11. Yeah. Or should we... I mean, leading the center is really, really strong. Trickster is kind of a point toss, really. Can't assign him to anything directly. Let us auto balance real quick. I don't know. I think we'll replace him. Back there. So we have reinforcements coming. He's attacking into a worse position. We just need to make sure that these don't get shuffled around like they clearly are being shuffled. Stop this. They look similar, but they're not the same. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's watch this. So we have two very defensive flanks here. As you can see, when this red stuff happens, this is just a good defensive thing. I think they're shortening something or... These are just going to last much longer in a battle than that don't have this red stuff. That's what I learned. And yes, even without our reinforcements, this was a very, very clear victory. Nothing to be done about it for him. Don't need to follow him. So now we can put our siege master in the center. And the flanker on the flank. Because we're primarily looking to siege now, but we might run into him right there. As he's fleeing somewhere. So we might just stand on top of him. Yep. So now the center leader would be preferable. And... One of higher rank over there. Our ally switched over one of our better commanders, which always a little bit annoying when it happens, but that is why it happens, because he is of a higher rank and he's leading his own troops, so he gets to actually lead despite lacking the qualification. So unless some random enemy army from one of those other wars we are proxy involved in comes in here, we should have this one. So again, what I don't really understand is how I'm going to subjugate another duke. Because we're of the same level, basically. How much can we get out of battles with this? I don't know. But we're going to siege once, then we're going to turn around. Get them off our land. While we still have the numerical superiority. Oh, we'll just see. I mean, we have a siege master. Might just turn out well without moving around. He barely has enough troops to take it. Barely. Because we were just still in the recovery from the last war. But we can take a second level on the same county. One more holding before we move off all right let's go defend our land so we put in this guy who is a flanker but he's also an organizer so leading as the organizer he will very much speed up the movement and we don't want to attack him from there we want to go like this so we don't have a river crossing as we fight do these rivers even have names? Okay, 
Despite everything being random, the Gungus River is still the Gungus. Maybe we missed a random option there. But as you can see, we might still arrive. Good, so it's still attacking into a jungle, so we want the correct composition here. Want the center leader, flanker on the flank, and since this guy's a defensive flanker, he's already in the right position, meaning nowhere. So we arrived in time to prevent the siege from winning. He has a defensive position in some form or what other. I don't know. You never, I mean, you can read up on all this, what all these means, what the phases mean and everything. But the only thing you really need to know is uh, it starts with a skirmish phase, then comes a shock phase, then comes a belief phase or something like that. I'm not even entirely sure. It doesn't matter too much unless you have a vastly different unit composition as your enemy. Uh, you can probably trick around a lot with it and make the most out of the troops that you have at your disposal, but hmm. just don't go into something where you have a clear number minority and also a clear negative modifier while attacking. That's, that's basically all we really, really need to know. So the next castle town, let's see. Um, no. Proved keeps. Oh. Construction we don't need either. Let's go for castle infrastructure. It's always good. Good early choice. Right, so now we've beaten all his armies. He has 80 men left fighting in his name. Let's make sure our siege leader is siege leading. So this goes the proper speed. Actually, let's look at him. Siege leader gives plus 40%. A Chinese... Siege Engineer gives plus 50%, I believe. Alright, and we have won our subjugation war against this man. We can now stand down our troops, and we have become threatening. But these guys are now our subjects. Including this guy. Who really, 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 really doesn't like us. Um, he's also a strong vassal. So what we should probably do is stop trying this silly thing. But rather... Revoke a title or two. Let's revoke his title. Doesn't matter. No. But as you can see, we've grown now. We have these guys under our thumb as well. So this guy... Honestly, we should probably kill this guy. Before he becomes an issue for us. He's not, not a weak vassal. Looks a little bit like Karl Drogo. We have 0% chance right now. buy this guy in and this guy they're all pretty expensive which one is your capital this one you can see with a little crown icon there we'll send this guy to help this. And this guy to go descent there. You can't. Fine, then you just improve relation. What plots do we know about?
Is it becoming anything good? I think we should become zealous. Zealousy is always fun. Well, looks like the Duchess will be remembered for more than just bungling this war down here, which was a very surefire thing. May just still redeem herself. Check that our council is... Okay, this guy needs a seat. So he'll get it. And we're going to keep sowing the scent down here. Maybe he gets imprisoned. Honestly, we're going to give him a seat on the council as well. And send him off to be imprisoned somewhere. Not by our own king, but some neighboring king. Because if someone else imprisons him, he's also not our issue anymore. But we should probably stop our plot against him. Him being our spy mouse and all. Oh well, we'll leave it up. Especially since there was just a plan being approved. At 55%, which I find a little bit odd, but okay. Okay, now, now we have an issue here, because we have two duchy titles. This one... And this one down here. I didn't know you get the duchy title too. So we're going to lose the duchy title to one of our kids. So w once we die... Camilo... M. Going to get everything. Which is the other duchy. But I think you can go to war over it or something like it also go to war over this thing here this guy that would work our spy master just died a little bit shame about that we're going to get our son Camillo it's honestly not so bad to be our spy master and we're going to send him to study technology. He's not great at that, but... I take care of him. And I think we should go to war with this guy. For our de jour claim on this thing. While we still have the troops to do it. I'm not going to raise our vassal levies, but we will call in our ally who's going to hate the hell out of us sooner or later. We need to come in from the south, I believe. Any of these two should be fine. Just try and expand the realm as far as we can. He doesn't know what he can do because he can't do anything. So he's just wandering left and right. Waiting for me to act. I will most certainly do. Stop moving things around, please. We need him mainly to maintain superiority during a siege. That's pretty much all we need. Wish to donate to charity. I 
And we definitely put in our Siege Master for this one. Someone else is attacking here, but... We are still a Siege Leader. But we could abuse all these enemy troops behind us to push down. And finish the war a little bit quicker. Because they get killed too. It's not just our troops. But we'll finish the siege normally. Because we don't want this dangerous faction. Teach the boy a virtue. So he becomes a little bit of a better person. One guy. Step out there. You are humble and kind. Stop with your factionalism. So this guy is now another strong vassal of ours. Or rather of whoever takes over here. Could go to war and de jure claim for this thing. But he is pretty strong so unlikely for us to win it. So what we've done now is basically we've created two duchies to be in our family line. We have our own and then we're going to lose pieces and the whole title to our other son there. It's a shame because none of these seem to be willing to die. Which, you know, gets me a little bit disappointed. I think we should start on killing our grandsons. Just to kind of reduce the issues that are going to rise from that generation. But ultimately we just need to change the succession laws until then. Whatever we work for is just going to keep shattering. And we'll have to fight wars over it. But that's alright. We'll deal with all of it. 